All right, how you doing, Facebook? So we are on our way to uh, pick up the truck today. Day's finally here. I'm so pumped, so excited. Um, I'm gonna somehow edit this so there is a little bit of more front action. Uh, that's what uh, some of the comments said. Uh, hey, you guys do this and that. Yeah, I'm all up for comments. Uh, you know, if you got something good to say, something bad to say, I am, um, I'm staring at a cop right now. Hopefully they don't pull me over. Uh, I don't. All right, no cops. <laughs> I'm good. Now I got my seatbelt on. Um, I don't know if they can get me for doing a video, but yeah. So we're gonna go, it's an hour away, uh, probably even faster depending on traffic. I think we're driving on a good time of day. It's uh, 10, 10, 10 a.m. or so. So um, yeah, it's, uh, I think this place is all the way in Moni, Illinois. Um, we're gonna go get it, uh, bring it back to the shop. Uh, it's gonna be fun. I'm so excited. All right, see you in a minute. Beautiful blue view up here. How's it going, YouTube? So we are here at uh, Moni, Illinois. Uh, we got my partner's truck, and uh, we're picking up this awesome, awesome truck. You guys ready for it? So this is a Blazer 1971. Uh, I don't know all the details on it, but we do have the uh, glove sticker on it. It's going to be a badass truck. I mean, look at this. Look at the condition of this. I got to figure out how to open that door. Uh, we got the uh, trailer ready to go. Uh, truck hooked up. It doesn't have a motor on it, which uh, we already found one that's going to fit uh, an original motor for the year nice we'll have to send that motor out to be rebuilt i mean but this is so much better than the last one we saw so yeah <laughs> i'm so excited pumped about it i didn't bring the right boots for the job so i'm gonna get my nice uh shoes all dirty sorry I'm trying to learn how to film with this stuff here there we go shoes all dirty but uh yeah all right so let me get to action here lift this up a little bit i'm gonna do a quick time lapse uh enjoy it Always checking if it's filming. So, hey, kitty, you're not going with us. <laughs> the kitty wants to go with us. I don't know if he's gonna get in the shot. So here you go. We got the blazer on board, and this is gonna be amazing, man. Uh, I can't wait to start building on this. Look at that four-wheel drive. Uh, it's got some rust here that we're gonna deal with. But yeah, I'll do a longer video once we get to the shop. Uh, I got it. Uh, get this gate closed and then uh, we'll get rolling all right so man I am so pumped so excited so thrilled um, I mean I'm gonna try to find every way to describe how I feel uh, so we got the truck inside the shop and it's game time and I was here over the weekend uh, we did a little ski trip which I'm going to post a video on it uh, and I was here trying to get my van ready and it worked out perfectly because I got the van off the lift, uh, we picked up the truck today, they call us say, hey come and get it. Alright, so one of the hardest things that I always get into is keeping the place clean, oh man, it's, huh, it's something I work with myself put things back where they go, but you know, when you're building something, you pull everything out at once, you need this, this, that, you ran, you put it, you go, you're in the zone, you don't have time to put things back, but then you end up with a miss. And that's pretty much what happened here on Sunday. Uh, by the way, my, if I interrupted the recording, my camera died. Uh, anyway, so I had everything on the floor here because I was working on the van, 
uh, and I needed the, I knew the truck was coming, didn't know when. Uh, so took the van out, went for a skiing trip, and I needed to do some welding. So I got my welding table, everything on it. But yeah, let's not focus on that. What I really want to talk about today is this guy. Look at that beauty. So this is a 1971 Laser. Uh, four by four. I I have to find out all the specs from um, my partner. He knows what kind of laser it is. What's the addition? Uh, this is one that has this gorgeous. Let's see if I can make that happen. That gorgeous uh, hood decal. I mean, that is just amazing. Uh, and uh, we actually have some already uh, some information like a PDF information of what this truck used to look like back then and this came like this out of the dealer so all of this uh, and I think we even have the uh, glove box sticker uh, that has a lot of information in it but yeah this is just gorgeous Unbelievable. Um, I mean, it's still in pristine condition compared to the H. It's got a big tank here that we're gonna have to figure out to fix, either replace the back door or pull that out. Which I think pulling that out might be very challenging. Uh, they do have replacement parts for all of this, for every single part. It is, after all, uh, a American build vehicle that you can pretty much get anything on it. Uh, this was sitting outside, that's why you have a little bit of snow there. Uh, just a little bit of crack in the fire glass here that we're gonna have to fix. Let's see what else we got going on here. It doesn't seem to have a lot of issues yet. This is, this is a problem here. It looks like there's a little nick missing. Um, yeah, I can do fiberglass work, so I'll figure that out. Uh, rust, like everything. I don't know if this is to the point where it needs replacement or uh, that little nick can be fixed, so that's not an issue. Uh, let me pull this truck up. I want to do a quick overall on and what I see, what is the uh, overall condition of, here's the first glance. Uh, I think that is a, should I get to find out? I think that's an aftermarket uh, bumper. I don't think that's original, but I gotta find that out. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous vehicle. Blazer, 1971. So here we go, we're gonna pick it up. A little bit. And uh, I'm gonna get a quick light so we can actually see underneath. I mean, just a first glance, this truck is going to be a lot of work, but uh, I think all of it is going to be worth it. Great. Yeah, my, my light is off. I do have another light that is actually more powerful. Yep, there we go. All right, so let's see. Nice. There is uh, dirt, which is okay. There's some rust right there, um, which that could be repaired. I don't think we need to replace the whole wheel well just because of that spot. I think that can be definitely repaired. I don't know about this. I'll have to uh, see how deep the rust is, whether it's something that can be repaired or needs replacement. Let's see here. I mean, frame looks solid. That is 
yeah, this is a very strong frame. I don't think we'll have issues with the frame uh, at all. <clears throat> Let's see what we got to work with here. Let me actually go under this completely so you guys can really see better. I mean, even the step side of the truck, it's just solid. And those are, I don't think those are rust blowing, those are drain holes. Wow. Yeah, mounts are good. Even this uh, rear axle looks in good shape. Definitely would need a new shock. That is not oil, by the way. That is, um, or I may be lying. Let me see. Nope, definitely oil. <laughs> Never mind. But even the floor, I mean, I don't see one hole on this whole floor. Same thing on this side. You got drain holes. And again, the way this trucks used to be made with the thick metal, you can't get that on a new truck anymore. Engine bay, we don't engine on it, of course. Uh, we'll have to find one and uh, pop one in there. I mean, the steering system looks pretty good. And I mean, just looking at the ball joint, which will be replaced, but just looking at it, you can see that that is something that will probably last forever compared to the new stuff you get those days are just not built as well. And the nice thing about these older trucks, I mean, the kind of new trucks, they have the same thing too. Not all of them, they have grease point and mostly... Eh, I'll take that back. I don't have grease point and everything. Um, yep, never mind. But yeah, overall, I think this truck is amazing. I want to see the back. I don't know if that is an original bumper. I can find that out. Uh, it looks to me after aftermarket, but I don't know enough about the truck to know. But I will once I do intensive research. Um, man. Very cool. All right. So let me I don't know if those are original tires. I mean rims or wheels. That bumper is in a little rough shape. But uh, I think this one we can fix, hammer back into, into place. Uh, actually, somebody snatched a chunk of it right here. So I don't know if that is something that uh, can be salvaged or not. I just gotta look. Too early to tell anything in this track right now. Those hooks, so those hooks right here, I heard that are uh, an option that comes from the factory back then and is an original item, which is very cool, very cool towing hook. So you, you can tell that this, this truck got, got made for like doing heavy stuff. Look at that. Very cool truck. All right, I'm gonna give it one more glance of the front grill here. Let me go high up so you guys can see better. <laughs> A little time in on top of my skid steer here. Yeah, so you can see what a nice truck. Man, this is, I'm gonna make sure I'm still filming. Wait. Yeah, I'm still filming. What a nice truck. This is uh, one of the coolest uh, vehicles I, I'm going to get to work on. Because I don't know if when another one like this is going to come around. 
uh, how soon. I know I'll be working on this for a few months. Anyways, so I'm not expecting to do this, uh, to do two of this at the same time. I'm trying to hang out of this with one hand. Ooh, yeah. That is my stronger hand, lefty. But yeah, so thank you for sticking around. Sign up. I mean, subscribe if you haven't by now. And yeah, enjoy the build. Enjoy the channel. I'm going to be putting a lot more content like this. Me just working on the truck. You'll see on my regular stuff, I put a lot of construction stuff. But yeah, this is a new series that I'm constantly going to be working on getting this uh, blazer put together. So we'll, we'll do this 20 episodes, maybe more. And hopefully you guys like it and stick around and enjoy it. See ya.